this is Ginger from my sister Scrapper. Today I want to share a little mini album project with you. I created this project using the Bow Bunny toy box <clears throat> collection. I used the 6x6 six six papers and I used a sheet of 12x12 12 12 cut aparts and I used another sheet of 12x12 12 12 for the inside photo mats. I had shared with you earlier um, I mean, a mini album that I used the photo play summer daydreams paper and this is the same style I just wanted to show you how it would look in a different paper collection. Super fast, really easy. Um, so on the front cover I used one of the cut aparts and I fussy cut around it because I wanted it to be a little bit smaller. I think it was a 4x4 four four, and I trimmed around it. I had a couple of enamel dots here. I did some die cutting with this star here and I had a little star punch that I punched out these with some uh, solid cardstock. Again I die cut some more stars here and here and layered those on. I used my little white gel pan and did some faux stitching around the edges. I used some white card sock here and then another piece of the 6x6 paper right here. I took um, on the back side of the 112 by 12 sheet that I had picked out for my tags I cut out the letters that spelled the word toys and then I put those on some pop dots and then I layered, I covered the top of them with glossy accents so they kind of look like little wooden blocks. That was my goal anyway. There's the spine, and here is the back. This paper is adorable. Oh my gosh. And I did use gray as my base for wrapping my chipboard, and because um, I thought it went with the collection really, really well. So again, it's super easy, super simple. There's five pages in here. The, pa the pages are four and a quarter by six and a quarter. The covers are four and a half by six and a half, and the spine is one and three quarters. Over here, I added a belly band with um, some of the images. These were little two-inch squares, but I punched them out with a circle and added a scallop circle in the back. Another one of the little images here. I made this a belly band, and then I had some papers left, and I punched out three more stars. Some more of the little design paper here, and I made a little booklet for a couple of photos there. And some more design paper on the back. So that goes back in there. And so the way it works is you have your page here, and I added a, a die cut star with a punch star on top with some dimensional foam tape. This is a 3x4 cut apart. This flips up and then you can do a journal here. You can put a photo here and then each one of these has a tag at the end. So they are design paper on one side and then the plane on the back. I did use my Stampin' Up! tag punch and I apologize because I know it's re been retired and I'm so sorry but it is kind of quick and handy to use but there's lots of alternatives out there for for um, for pull tabs you don't have to have that because good lord um, it goes on eBay for a ridiculous price but <laughs> so that goes back in there like this and over here on the back side I used another journaling die that I got from Emma at my creative time and this is a 3x4 journaling stitch journaling die so I put that right there as another photo mat so you can put a full 4x6 photo on here with no cropping and then you can add a 3x4 photo right here again another star with another star punched on top again a 3x4 card so the pages are all similar Again, you can put a photo here and a photo here and a photo mat there or you can just put a photo here and leave the pretty little paper. How bad would that be? And over here again I have another uh, photo mat right here. So I have an, I tried to keep it so it would coordinate. I have an orange photo mat here so an orange star. Again I was short one 3x4 card on this particular 12x12 sheet so I just made my own. I just kind of cut one of the 2x2 two two images together and trimmed it down so it worked. <laughs> and I have some more design paper here. And here's the orange pulled out. Again, love this paper. This is the crayon paper, and it's got really cute little um, words on it. Instead of the colors of the words, they're like little sayings. Super cute. Again, I have another star that I die cut, and another little star that I punched out with a stamp on a punch. And again, this says, "May your dreams come. May your dreams take flight." some more design paper here. This is the 12 by 12 extra sheet that I bought for my photo mats. And then here is this one. So those are all exactly the same. They just have a different color of tab on the end. Again, I have the green photo mat here. This is the paper that I used to, um, no, it was not from the 12 by 12. It was from the 6 by 6 where I cut the word toys on the front. And again, I have another die cut star with this punched out star. Love this cute little one here. It's a little kitty cat playing the violin. You can write something up there. Put a photo there. Cute little journal spot. Photo mat. 
And again, I love the little apple paper with the gray in the background. That's why I wanted to use gray for the base of the pages. Another photo mat here. Over here, I used another one of the 4x4 cut aparts and made it a belly band and created another little fold out. On the inside was some more of the apple paper from over here because it had the apples right there. How cute is that? I did put this on um, some dimensional foam tape and double matted it with some white cardstock and then placed for a couple photos there. So that goes back in there like that and that is the back. So there you go everybody. That's my super cute little super fast mini album project using the Bow Bunny Toy Box paper collection. The good thing about the Bow Bunny 6x6 papers, they are single sided but you do get 36 pages. So there you go everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye.